GTA 5 is home to one of the most psychopathic characters in gaming history, Trevor. And it's only natural that a character like this embarks on his own serial killer journey. So for the next 10 in-game days, Trevor Phillips will be attempting to kill as many people as he can. However, each kill needs to be realistic. I can't just kill somebody in broad daylight because in this story, the cops actually have a role in catching me. So it's up to Trevor to cover up his tracks as much as he can. But the real question is why would Trevor even start killing in the first place? And well, that answer is actually pretty simple and it starts here at this bar on day one. Okay, my friends, we should be able to find ourselves a nice, easy target at this bar here. And just like that, Trevor found the perfect target. Now, from the start, Trevor's mental state was fine. In fact, murder wasn't even on his mind until... I'd say, don't quit your day job. A simple loss made Trevor lose it. So he asked the lady if she needed a ride home after the fun victory she just had. And the lady was happy to accompany Trevor because she was in no position to drive that night. Now Trevor said he needed to make a quick stop and invited the lady inside and put on his best acting skills and told her to simply take a seat in the back room. And she did. Now that Trevor has disposed of the body, he has an itch for more killing, and he thought to himself, why not go to the one place that's filled with people? The city of Los Santos. Filled with the big law enforcement of the FIB. Greedy businessmen. And people that party away the harsh realities of life. And Trevor will be staying at a local motel in a pretty rough part of town. But as soon as he saw his room, Trevor loved it. Thoughts started to race through his head about potential victims he could bring to this very place. So that night, Trevor thought, why not go out and make a friend? And he stopped at a nice little bar downtown. All right, nice little bar area. This should be a good little spot to find our next victim. Trevor seemed to vibe really well with a random guy. They were both just dancing the night away, having a good time. And Trevor wanted to stop at another bar for fun. Okay, we have ourselves our next victim. I told him to come on over. We're gonna have a better time at another spot. But first, we're gonna make a quick stop at my little motel. Or Trevor's motel. So Trevor and his new friend Steve started to head out to a new place. A woman has gone missing near Sandy Shore. Sources say she was last seen with a man in a red truck. Trevor told the man that he needed to make a quick stop and change his shirt, so he nicely asked his new friend Steve if he wanted to wait in the room, and he did. The exposure is payment enough. That was so unprofessional. We need to finish this talk soon. Call me. I'm fed up. Well, now that Trevor officially has gotten his second victim, it was time to dispose of the body. And Trevor knew just the right place. The sewer. Nobody ever really seemed to check this place, so hopefully nobody will ever find this body. Now Trevor needed to find his next victim, and he found the perfect person, and his name was Ted. And let's just say Ted wasn't the nicest guy. What's the you want? Just what is going on? Jeez! That is not the Whoa, way we're running off. Whoa! Ted happened to have a showing at one of his luxury beach side apartments, but he had one last unexpected guest that night. As Ted sat down, he heard something in what sounded like a crack in the bathroom. For the most part, this back alley doesn't have a lot of people go down it, so the garage seemed like the best place for the body. Now, 
Now, Trevor needed to create a distracting kill, a kill that made it seem like it was unrelated to him whatsoever in case anybody was tracking him. And he found the perfect murder, a gang drug deal. And the perfect target was a man named Lorenzo McCanali. The kill was a success. The only thing left was to see if the cops would take the bait. And it looks like they did. As Trevor watched the crime scene from a distance, he noticed that he saw a cop that just so happened to go viral a few weeks ago for beating up a homeless man. No way. Oh, in now Trevor could have cared less what the cop did to the homeless man, but people wouldn't be as suspicious if a cop that abused his power ended up dying somehow. And luckily for Trevor, Officer Chris just so happened to be in a dark alley late at night. Okay, so I assume I've told you about Officer Chris. Lucky for me, or lucky for Trevor, we have him in a nice little alleyway. Gotta be careful though, but this should be a great distraction. Hopefully not get connected to any of my previous murders. Or Trevor's previous murders, I should say. Okay, it's game time, my friends. Now that Trevor has created two successful distracting kills, he figured why not get back to basics and find another friend at night. And what better spot than Bahama Mamas? This was the perfect party scene, a bunch of hopeless people drinking the night away. And he started hanging out with a man called George. George seemed like a pretty cool guy and he wanted to keep hanging out with Trevor, so they headed off to another spot to party more. Come on, George, I have a great little spot that you're really, really gonna enjoy. You're going to die for it. <laughs> but first, Trevor told George that he needed to stop and change his shirt, so he invited George inside for a second. George ended up seeing bloodstains from the previous murder Trevor had had. And well, George ended up getting too far away and it would have created distraction if Trevor kept running after him. So, he was free. Trevor started to feel anxiety of these murders. He felt like everything was going to catch up to him. A woman's body was found frozen in a freezer. This comes just a week after this woman had gone missing after last being seen at a local bar playing darts. Another body has been found just outside a sewer in Los Santos. Sources are unclear if any of these murders are linked to one individual. And yet another body found in a garage near Venice Beach. This is the last known video of one of the victims. We can now confirm the suspect to be Trevor Phillips. Suspect is currently complying and being detained. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant, Trevor Phillips, guilty and to be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Very well. Trevor Phillips, you have been found guilty of all five murders and will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. A prison transporting van has crashed along the highway. At this time, we are unaware of any prisoners that might have escaped. 